Let's talk about how to utilize the troop scheduler or setting pickup times for troops to come and get products from you. So from once I'm logged into the site from my dashboard, I need to choose the manage service unit and troop button. Here I'm going to see my service unit and I'm just going to click here to open up my options. I see that I've already entered my address for delivery and council has already assigned my delivery date. So this will be the date when the delivery agent is bringing the product to me. We'll have to coordinate once we get the exact delivery schedule from the delivery agent, but at this time, um, council has given me permission to be able to set troop pickup times. If I need to edit my product delivery address, I can do so here. Be sure to include your uh, phone number so that the delivery location will be visible to your troops and include your email address because these pieces of information will also be helpful for our delivery agents to get in touch with you should they need to on day of delivery or before. I can see here that my delivery agent and time again have been assigned by council. So if I want to employ the pickup times uh, and show those to my troop, I would simply throw this toggle here, set pickup date and time. Here's where I get to make my choices. I know my product is going to be delivered to me on 1025. Uh, to be safe, I'm gonna have my troops come and pick up my product from me on the 26th. That's gonna give me time to count and separate everything out, print out delivery tickets for each of my troop troops and start to pre-pack those orders for them to come and get from me. So I'm going to set the pickup date here as 1026. I'm going to open this field, make my choice, and I'm going to be available from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. With, with the uh, end time, once I set my end time, um, if I allow for pickup intervals, so if I want troops to choose exact pickup times that they'll come to see me, um, 4 is the outside time uh, of my availability. So if I want to allow for a pickup time at 4, I need to make the end time 4 10 p.m., somewhere just over 4, to allow 4 to show as an option. I do also want to set intervals, so I'm going to toggle this feature on here, allow for pickup time intervals. I'm going to have troops come to me. Uh, I need about 10 minutes between each troop, so I'm going to choose a 10 minute interval. So that means my time slots will be available starting at 1 p.m. 1, 110, 120, and so on. My last pickup time will be 4 p.m. I would like one troop to come at a time, but I have the options for up to four at a time if I want. If I have a lot of volunteer help and uh, you know I want to accommodate more than one troop at a time, I can certainly allow for that in the system. I also am going to need just a little bit of a break, so I'm going to add some blackout times. So I want to be, uh, I want to have a break from 120 p.m. until probably let's say um, 140. I just need I just need a little break and I'm going to want to make, make sure that I pay attention to the a.m. and p.m. because when you're entering the times the system will default to a.m. I want to make sure that I definitely have those um, right times visible before I show them to the troops. So I'm just going to click add to unavailable. That means no troops will be allowed to select times between 120 and 140. If I need to add additional unavailable times, I can do so here as well. I can also add an additional pickup date. I can't add more times to the same day, but if, for example, I wanted to also make the 27th available for my troops to come and pick up with a different time slot, I could add another pickup date or time here. Um, again, it has to be a different date. If I want to have time blocks on 1025, I would just put the inside and outside time range and then I would add times to unavailable. That way troops will not see anything that is listed in the unavailable category. They won't see those times when they log into the site as choices. Once I throw this toggle for show pickup date to troops, I can no longer make any changes. I am now making this visible to the troops so there will be no opportunity for me to edit. So again, please triple check the information that you've selected to display here to be sure that it is what you want to show. Again, you can make any changes before you show this date and time to the troops. So let's be sure that we have enough time for the delivery agent to get product to us uh, and that we have enough time to sort and separate for the troops to come pick up that product. 
Once I um, either add another pickup date or show them to the troops, I simply click save and those will be my pickup times that are displayed to my troops for choices. When a troop comes to the site, they will be able to see um, all of the available options. As times are selected by troops, those become unavailable to other troops. So it's first come, first serve uh, for those pickup times. I would do some quick math to be sure that whatever you set your intervals at, you have enough time, uh, time slots available for the troops that need to pick up products from you so that you allow um, everybody to actually have a time to choose from. Once troops start making choices, you'll be able to see when troops have made those choices, again, from the Manage Service Unit Troops and Girl Scouts tab. Um, under the troop tab here, you'll be able to see what pickup time has been selected. There will be a report available for you to export. It will be an Excel export that will tell you a list of all of the troops and what times they have selected. Again, just please be sure before you display those times to the troops that you're absolutely certain, 100% certain, um, that those are the times that you will have available and that will be available because we cannot edit or make changes to any of these times after they're displayed to the troops. Thanks and good luck. We appreciate your help and support during the fall product program. Good luck with your deliveries.